warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Saya Uji Asep, jamaah majelis Darul Muhtalimin Ciawi. Alhamdulillah telah bergabung menjadi salah satu investor di KS212. Jadi pasti saya ikut bergabung sebagai investor di koperasi KS212 adalah pertama saya nggak bisa pergi ke Palestina untuk berjuang mempertahankan agama Allah. Salah satunya berjuang di negeri sendiri yaitu menegakkan syariah dalam bertijarah, berusaha uh, untuk meningkatkan kesejahteraan umat salah satu. Alhamdulillah saya tahu tentang dua satu dua. Pertama banyak sekali brosur-brosur yang mempropagandakan hal ini. Kedua banyak dari ekwan-ekwan yang uh, merekrut untuk ikut berjuang supaya jangan kita dikuasai oleh Yahudi masyarakat khususnya masyarakat Jawa umumnya seluruh Indonesia untuk bergabung mari kita berjuang mendaftarkan diri sebagai anggota PS212 sekaligus kalau ada dana lebih dari kita berupa harta dan kelebihan dari rezeki kita mari kita menjadi salah satu investor dari KS2 sebagai wujud perjuangan umat Islam melalui ekonomi syariah Somebody would have told me that I was going to become Muslim before I paroled I would have told them that they were crazy because I never planned on becoming Muslim. I never thought about becoming Muslim, but, you know, Allah made me a Muslim. And I was born in uh, Ontario, California, and uh, I grew up claiming uh, Southside Ontario. Um, growing up, I was a good kid. I was always trying to do things to please my mom and please my father. I wanted to do good things. and. Uh, I played baseball and um, upon the, the time that I uh, started going to junior high school, that's when I started messing up. So my gra my mom shot me to my grandma's house to go live with my grandma. So I wanted to live with my grandma until she got sick. And then my grandma shot me back uh, to my mom's house. So I started living with my mom again. And uh, it is at th this point that uh, I started getting in trouble a lot. I remember sitting in my room thinking that uh, I can't wait until I'm 18. I can't wait until uh, I can get out there and live my own life and, and you know. So uh, upon when I became 18, uh, I found myself in the county jail for uh, Grand Theft Auto. And uh, it is upon this time that uh, when you go to jail, you're going to either be rehabilitated or you're gonna uh, get worse and for me at for me I got worse I became a worse person and uh, I ended up doing bigger crimes as everybody knows uh, you would do uh, bigger crimes and uh, to get money and um, I ended up uh, getting busted and uh, I got 15 years of prison one day I got busted the the cops raided my house and my cell at the time. They raided my cell. So uh, I got five more years on top of my 15 years. So now I'm in prison doing 20 years. And uh, it was at this time of my life that uh, I started thinking, because I got my second strike, if uh, I started thinking, do I want to be in prison the rest of my life? And uh, I knew for certain that I didn't want to be in prison the rest of my life. I knew that God had a bigger calling for me. And uh, I knew that I wanted to get out of there. So, but no matter what, I always prayed that Allah would guide me. And, and one day, God, Allah did guide me. Allah guided me to a Sally that uh, was a Muslim. He invited me to the service. So uh, I accepted. I went to the service. And uh, uh, when Allah opened my heart, I knew that, uh, that I had to take my uh, shahada. You know, it was beautiful. And, um, you know, that is when uh, Allah changed my life and, and uh, 
that was three years before I paroled from prison. And uh, I tell a lot of people this, that if somebody would have told me that I was gonna become Muslim before I paroled, I would have told them that they were crazy because I never planned on becoming Muslim. I never thought about becoming Muslim, but you know, Allah made me a Muslim and uh, Allah chose me. So, you know, that's why I'm here today to be able to be able to tell my story and uh, let uh, people out there know what Allah can do for your life. Allah can change your life from bad to good. You know, a lot of people think that uh, Islam is bad, but that's what they see on TV. But they don't see the people like me that, you know, Islam has changed my life. For anyone who thinks uh, wrong about Islam or uh, has the wrong idea about Islam, that they should uh, study it and uh, they should research it themselves and not think that Islam is only for Arabs, it is only for blacks, it is only for, you know, certain races. You know, all the races come together, you know, out here in the streets. And now I've been fortunate enough to be out here for three years out of prison. Before I became Muslim, I was never out longer than six months, three months, four months, five months. I would always go back to prison. I don't want anything out of this. All I want is for Allah to be pleased, inshallah. And uh, being able to be here today is, uh, is a beautiful thing. Um, uh, I just pray that uh, it'll, uh, my story will be able to guide others to Allah's greatness, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.